Okay, one simple offense、uh, that will have your players improve in all areas on the offensive end of the floor is a five-out motion. Okay, five-out motion、uh, has your players in a spread situation where all the players are going to be interchangeable, meaning that after you initiate your offense with your point guard. All the spots on the floor can be occupied by any player. It doesn't have to be a guard, doesn't have to be a forward or a center.、Uh, what's good about this offense? It trains your players to be able to do everything offensively,、uh, not just play close to the basket. If you're a bigger or taller player,、um, it works all your skills.、Uh, if you look on the floor,、uh, we have five markings. We like to put these X's down. Because what it'll do is it just gives your players, when you're teaching it,、uh, a points of reference on the floor. So the spots, the X's, signify the areas where you, your players should generally be to fill.、Uh, your, you, the spots on the floor are the point spot, the two wing spots, foul line extended, and then down towards the corner are your corner spots. Okay, your five players will occupy those spots as the ball moves, and we'll go through the specific rules of action. So you're always going to initiate with your point guard, but as I said, all positions will change once the offense is in flow. So the first thing we talk about is cutting and replacing in the offense. If you look at our earlier videos, we already covered V cutting and getting open. So To initiate the offense, your point guard will dribble towards one side of the floor or the other. Right now, she's going to dribble to her right, and that's going to have our player V cut to catch. And then we work on cutting and looking for layups. So we cut through. We're not open. We fill, and we're still in our five out. In in this case, we're going to reverse the ball. From one side to the other, we V cut, we pass, and now we make a basket cut again, and we fill. Okay, so if you see now the pl players have changed positions on the floor, and depending on where you are on the floor,、uh, you will you will be in a situation where you may be cutting,、uh, you may be at later point screening. So right now we're going to take a couple of cuts to finish, and then、uh, so、we'll、work on. Finishing, making a good pass, and finishing with a, a layup. Okay. All right. Let's start out again. Okay. Pick a side. Dribble. Be cut. Cut. Layup. Good. We want to bounce pass for that layup. It's okay. Here we go. Go the other way. Good. Be cut to get open. Cut. Good. All right, now we're going to cut, but we're not going to we're not going to get the layup, and we're going to reverse the ball and then get the layup on the second cut. All right, here we go. B cut, good hit, cut to the basket, good. Now as we're as we're going through, okay, keep in mind that all the fundamentals have to be addressed, meaning. Solid passes,、uh, faking. Okay, so you know as as you progress, coaches, we make a, we、uh, dribble to a side, we V cut to get open, V cut. Okay, we teach our players now if they're going to cut to the basket and they want to go this way, the first thing they do is step away to take their defender away, and now she may have a clear path to the basket. Okay, so we work on that cut action. All right. Now we can also pass the ball from wing to corner. So we V cut to get open, hit, cut to the bass, hold it. We okay back back on the top. I'm sorry. You can stay right there. Okay. Rules of action. Every time you catch the ball, you always watch the player who passed you the ball. To see if they're open, so that's you always have to watch. If she doesn't get it, she's cutting through opposite her pass, and we fill to the top. Now our next pass is going to go to the corner, and now we're going to cut from this wing. Okay, and we're looking for the layup. 
go through. If we don't have it, we have all five spots set and we're still in our template. Okay. All right. Rewind it. Same spots on the floor. Now, when we pass to the corner, we're going to cut and get a layup. Okay. Here we go. B cut. Hit. Watch the first cutter. Good. Cut. Fill. Layup. 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 Good. Good. Back to the top. Okay. So we, we've covered just the basics on the cut, on cutting. But just to give it to you again, highlight it again, coaches. We V cut. Watch the player who gave you the ball. She's not open. Now your second spot might be here. When, she, when you make this pass from this position, again, if I want to make a basket cut, I'm going to take my defender here and then try to cut right in front of their face for the layup, okay? So you need to break down that cutting action. Besides cutting, the other piece that I want to give you in your five out is screening, okay? So let's start in our, in our original spots. So coaches, that was five out with cutting. Now, same action, dribble to a side, V cut to get open, pass. Okay, now you're, you see your teammate's not cutting, she's now setting a screen. She's gonna try to set a screen on her teammate's man, and now the first thing we're gonna do is just come right across, don't come high, just come straight across, and you're gonna take a jump shot on the foul line. Give it back, good. Set the pick on me, good, pass, and shot. Okay, perfect. Let's look at that now. Screen, pass, shot. Good, excellent, excellent. Come back out. All right, let's do the same thing, okay, from the other side, okay? And this time, don't shoot it. Just catch it coming off the screen. Go ahead. Be cut, good. Watch the player who gave you the ball. Pass, good. Now, let's say you don't have the shot. Get, pass it back, hun. pass it back. Let's say when you came off the screen, your, your, your defender is guarding you, so you come out, pass it to the top. Okay, so now look what we're in, okay? We're in, three, we're in our five out still, right? Now you just initiate the action. Let's say you pass it here. Okay, go screen away. Okay, good. If you don't have it, you'd pop out. You'd pop out after the screen, pass to the top, okay? But we don't have to screen away every time. We could screen away or we could cut, all right? And also on your screen away actions, there's multiple ways to move. I'm gonna give you one more and then you know, we'll wrap it up for you here. So we pass, set the screen. Now on this one, you're going to curl to the basket for a layup. Hold it. She's not open. You pop back out. You fill up. You pop out. Okay? Let's do that now. Pass it there like we did. Good. Screen. Curl. Curl to the basket. Good. Good. You're filling up and you'd fill up. Okay? Good. So, coaches, what we can do with the five-man motion, the five-player motion, there's a multitude of options. Uh, I just gave you a few of them here. Uh, we, can go, we can give you a lot more of them, refer back to what we had in the earlier part um, of this uh, segment. Uh, but it's a great opportunity to have your players, bigger players, handle the ball, uh, players learning how to cut, players learning how to set screens. And it's going to make your players better basketball players. It's a sound offense, but I think more importantly, it's great for player development.